Greetings. Welcome to my channel, A Place to Dock. I am Julia. This message is for Virgo for the month of May 2021. And Virgo, I'm hoping that everything is well with you. I was meditating on your sign and thinking about your energies and how everything was going for you. And one word came up to me in my spirit, and that word was recenter. So what I'm thinking is life is speeding up and we're needing to find that recenter again. Just pull yourself back into where you need to be and recenter. So that's the general idea that came to my mind for you. So what we're going to do is we will do a Celtic cross spread. I will be using the Rider weight deck and we'll pull some cards and we'll see how we can understand this message for you. Okay, so here we go. I'll put the word there. So we'll pull some cards for Virgo for the month of May 2022. And we ask spirit and guides, our guides, to explain these things to us. What does Virgo need to know for this month? We're going to cut these, but since that one fell out, we're going to keep it. Okay. So Virgo, that is your card. <laughs> that is awesome. This is the Virgo card, the Hermit. Okay, so that's what's representing you. So you are in your element. You are doing extremely well. You're just going to need to recenter yourself to find who you really are again. What's crossing you is the magician. That is your obstacle. Your recent past, uh, your past is the moon in reverse. Your recent past is the page of wands. Your crowning card, what? you your potential is the page of swords in the next few weeks you have the six of swords and what your current energy is is the three of cups how beautiful is that that's a wonderful celebration feeling and your environment is the uh, five of cups which is also a grieving card but we'll explain that when we get there that's your environment your hopes and dreams are is the four of cups and your outcome for the month of may 2021 is the ace of swords which is a victory new ideas new brilliance in your for you coming out for you so we're going to work on recentering for you for this month of may 2021 so the hermit, the hermit does go inside and he finds his own wisdom. He has his own lantern lit and he is alone. So you probably don't mind being alone this month of May. And will, while you do, you will make the best of it. You are going to go back inside and see what's important to you. You're going to step back, recognize the changes that have happened, and you're going to reinvent yourself and adapt. Now, what's stopping you or hindering you is that you, with the magician, you manifest things. You are probably having a lot of different ideas of what you want to manifest. Maybe you don't know exactly which one you should manifest, but you're going to be working on pulling the energy down from the universe and bringing it down to practical matters for yourself. So that will be your your. Um, your challenge this month is to bring the information down from spirit and that is what the hermit does that is his whole purpose in life is to bring information into himself and to share it with others so as the magician with the magician card you are going to be able to do that so while you're alone work on and connecting with your higher self and bringing down the information that you need so that you can manifest your dreams and desires in your past, you've had the moon, which is in reverse. So the moon is hopes and fears and uh, un the unknown. You have already achieved figuring out the unknown. You have already overcome lots of fears. And this moon that we've just had was probably quite important for you when we just had this uh, Scorpio supermoon. You know how to connect with your intuition and you know how to make that work. You probably have felt that it has not worked for you because with this in reverse, you may have felt a block of not accessing your higher self. 
in the past, but you have definitely overcome that because in your recent past, you have the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is an energetic adventurer. He is going on a journey and has eager to travel and wants to just achieve all his dreams and desires. Is super energetic, super determined, and just wants to get things going. But he's at the beginning level of it. So he is just going to take his time, even though he wants to get going. You have been contemplating what you really want, what you really wanting, which direction you want to go, and how you want to spend your energy. That's what you've been working on in the recent past. So the Page of Wands also, and you have another page, your, your potential is the Page of Swords. Now the Page of Swords is, he's poised. You are ready to act. You are balanced your life. You've got your ideas and you know what you want. And that is an awesome place to be. You have thought about a lot of things and you are going to be able to come up with new ideas this month. Stand on your own two feet. Be ready to act with your ideas that you get and you will be successful with this. But do plan it and do organize your ideas in a way that works for you. And that actually leads as well to the near future, which is the, probably the beginning of May. These swords are all perfectly lined up. So this page has actually organized the swords. I see that once you get all your ducks in a row, all your ideas down on paper or organized in your brain, however you organize yourself, you are going to be able to move away from the rough, rough waters. And anything that has been troubling you, you're going to be able to have smooth sailing ahead and you will make it the transition in the beginning of May. Things are going to be better and you're headed for a better place than where you are right now. And right now, you are already at a good place. This is the Three of Cups. So you and your friends are, your close friends are celebrating each other's victories. You have achieved the things that you've wanted to and you're probably filled with gratitude. And, and Virgo, that is just awesome. I know that Virgo, you can be so grateful for so many things. You're just, life is grateful and that's how you live life. And that is where you're at right now. So cherish that about yourself. Know that that is an awesome thing and not everybody's like that. And you're amazing at that, okay? Now, how other people see you and the circumstance around you is kind of glum and bleak. You might be coming up against other people who have like their dark cloak on, who are negative Nellies, and you're feeling their vibes of sadness and sorrow, and you're happy. <laughs> you're like, come on guys, let's live life and enjoy it because we can't let this pull us down. But other people around you are pulling you down. So you're, what you're going to need to do is focus on those few friends that are actually happy and then you will be able to help those other people shed that black coat of grief and sorrow because you are a healer you are someone who cares so much about people and I know that you will be able to help these people who are around you overcome all this grief and help them recenter their self because you're recentering yourself and you're going to take them with you that is excellent now your hopes and dreams you're hoping that you might get an offer of something, yet you just don't see it coming. You're sitting here under a tree, probably a little melancholy and saying, really? Okay, so you've had three cups here, five of cups here, and the four of cups here. That is pretty emotional, Virgo. So don't get glum when you think about your hopes and dreams. Know that the universe will still give you an offer of, a, of you, another dream. Just open your eyes and see and feel the universe giving you the best that they can you are going to be able to enjoy that cup when you just take a look don't keep looking down these other people are probably affecting you here and pulling you down and these three cups probably are these three cups that are falling over don't look at these three look at the one that the universe is saying hey Virgo look at this cup because we have something in store for you that is going to make you knock your socks off and see he's got red socks which is passionate so there you go so this three of cups stay in this energy 
and know and look for this extra gift that the universe is going to be giving you this month. And your outcome will be an amazing new idea and an amazing victory. When you recenter your heart and you recenter your focus, you're going to step back. You're going to recognize the changes that have happened around you. You're going to see who you want to hang around with, who is, who you can help, and you're going to see the gift that the universe is giving you and you're going to receive it. You're going to take this idea and you're going to stand with it poised. You have these two outcome cards, the Page of Swords and the Ace of Swords. You are going to definitely make things happen. Just be ready and it's coming, okay? Your victory is here. What we will do is we're going to take the Hanson Roberts deck and we're going to clarify. Let's clarify the page of swords, your potential here. And let's see what else you can do to be more balanced and what else you can do to step back and recognize the changes. Okay, first of all, I got the Wheel of Fortune. So to rebalance and to recenter, Wheel of Fortune, the High Priestess. And what else can Virgo do in May? The Nine of Swords. Okay, so there's more swords here. So what you're going to do first is many times when you're in your page of, of swords energy, you are going to be challenged, but you're still ready to stand. You're actually, and when you're by yourself, we're going to look back here to the very center. When you are in your center, you sometimes will go into a negative thinking and you're going to see a lot of the obstacles, things that might weigh you down, things that are troubling you, things that you're just not seeing how they're going to work out. Something you say is not going to work out here. Don't let that bother you because this is just a small part of this whole big picture. So what you have to do in order to overcome and to be stronger and in your energy of the Page of Swords is to know, first of all, with the Wheel of Fortune, that everything changes. This wheel turns and it is turning in your favor because the universe is bringing you new ideas and bringing you success. And this is success. This is abundance. This is financial abundance as well. You will be seeing an uptake and a turning for the better for yourself in the month of May. And also this card is the High Priestess. She also goes with the Hermit. They both go inward. She has, she has access to the hidden mysteries. And Virgo, when you take your time and go into yourself and sit, take back, sit back and reinvent yourself, you're going to come up with brand new ideas and you're going to come up with hidden mysteries that are already out there in the universe that you're going to pull down just like with this magician, these two also, he can bring it down to pass. She knows what it is and he brings it out. So you have a wonderful month here. Virgo, this is amazing. You're going to really change how you view yourself. And you're going to recenter and refocus for the rest of this year. This will be a great month for you for that. What we're going to do now is I'm going to take these old style Lenormand decks. And we're go these are Lenormand. So what we're going to do is pull three cards for advice for Virgo for the month of May 2021. And we pull them in groups of three is best. Okay, so we have the birds, the mountain, and the clover. The birds, the birds can represent nervousness. And the birds can also represent two people growing old together. <laughs> quite opposite but that is what that what that is what this card symbolizes so your advice would be stay close to those who really mean something close to you and they will help you through any nervousness or any chatter that you might be feeling from all these people here who are pulling you down and those people will create obstacles for you so if you are nervous and if you feel the tension in the, in the air from the world and everything that's going on, that is going to slow you down and cause you hindrances and blockages. 
But if you focus on the happy things and the lucky things, this is a clover. And the clover is little luck. Little luck everywhere you go. So as you go inside, you will be opening your eyes every day to something that will bring you some luck and something that will bring you joy. And you'll stay in your celebratory gratitude type attitude. All right, that's excellent. I love that. I love that clover there with the birds. Okay, one other thing we're going to do is pull you an animal spirits card. This is the spirit animal oracle from Colette Baron Reed. And we'll pull one animal for you. And this animal you can think about for the month of May. And we'll see what kind of animal it is, if it might be near you or not. Okay. Maybe not, but it depends where you are in the world. Okay, the animal that came out is the chameleon spirit. And it says, act as if. I'll show you that card. That's an excellent card for you. Act as if. So you're going to act as if everything that you dream and everything that you're grateful for is actually happening around you. And you're going to be victorious because it is coming true. Just enjoy that picture of that chameleon. And don't and just embrace that spirit and you're going to act as if everything is working out exactly as you planned. Recenter yourself, reorganize your thoughts, and look for the new ideas that spirit brings you, and you are going to be victorious, and you are going to be standing on your ground. You're gonna be I love the word poised. You're going to be poised this month and ready because as you recenter yourself, you are ready for the world as it is speeding up around us. Okay, so I hope you have a wonderful month, uh, Virgo. And if you did like this, please give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe and share it with a friend if you want. I hope you have a great month of May. Thank you. Bye-bye.